Alrighty, so today we're going to continue with our Wednesday series of videos where I kind of show how I do things on the channel. Now, by the time you see this video, you'll have already seen the groups that we shoot with this um, load, likely. But what we're going to do is I've got 15 more pieces of Hornady 6x fired brass, which you can see there. And the reason why I have 15 pieces is because I have like 48 pieces and we're now down to 15. So I need to fire these before I go ahead and resize and uh, get all this stuff ready to shoot again. So what I did was I'm going to use the 130 grain ELD match from Hornady. I've had good luck with this in the past. Um, I just found another box, um, snagged it online, and we're going to use H4831SC from Hodgkin. Now, Hornady lists load data for this. Um, that's typically what I look at first at 2.900 cartridge overall length with H4831SC at a 56.6 grain max predicted around 3,100 feet per second. Now, because I only have 15 pieces, um, we're not going to cover a huge range, but I want to cover somewhere close to this top. So we're going to use a top load today of 56.0 grains and then work down in half grain increments. So 55.5 and 55.0, and we'll obviously shoot low to high, shooting five shot groups. Um, I typically use my Lyman Gen 6 powder measure, and I'll probably just weigh out the charges by hand, but using that scale to kind of get us started. So first thing we need to do is all of this is prepped. It's um, a decent enough length where it doesn't need trimmed or anything like that. So this brass doesn't need trimmed or anything like that. It's already chamfered, it's ready to shoot. Just need to go ahead and prime it. So let's go ahead and start priming. All right, so typically how I prime, um, we use the Lee hand priming tool. Uh, we've got the number five shell holder in there that's gonna work with 6.5. PRC, we're going to use CCI 34 primers. These are what I've predominantly used in my PRC without any issue. So we're loading 15 rounds, so we need 15 primers in here. Let's see what we've got in our tray. So, all right, so that was just a little bit more than 15, but it will work for now. We've got the large rifle primer holder in there, and we'll go ahead and prime these. Now, these do have six firings on the brass. But as you can tell, the primer pockets still feel pretty good, which a lot of people talk smack on Hornady brass. I've not had really too many issues yet. I've used a lot of Hornady brass. All right, so I'm gonna get all 15 of these primed here and we'll move over to weighing out some powder charges. All right, so as you can see here, we've got all 15 of them primed. Just double check, make sure that they're just a little bit below flush, which on my Lee primer, um, with these large rifle primers, you can really feel the bottom out, so it's really not a big issue. So let's go ahead and waste powder. All right, so typically what I do is I use basically this little glass jar, pour a little bit of the powder that we want in there, and whenever I'm just weighing out a few charges, this is how I do it. Now I use a Lee scoop to kind of help scoop in there. This is the 1.6, it's pretty light for 6.5 PRC, as in I have to do a lot of scoops, but um, it's usually just the one that I use all the time. It's uh, not too big a deal. A couple scoops get you right near 50, and we're going for 55. And I usually, I have a trickler, but just never use it. And there you go, 55 grains, that's our first load. And sometimes I'll take it off there. I know exactly what that pan weighs. It always weighs pretty much the same thing. And 55.0 grains. I also use this cheap leaf funnel, which I actually had to modify. If you look at the end there, it's a little bit cut off to fit on 6.5 PRC. Had to cut just a little bit off there that was bumping into the shoulder. But that's been just fine for me. I know you can use a better pan if you want. And then we're gonna dump some powder. All right, so typically what I do is whatever one I'm gonna dump powder in, I put on the end there and take the 55 grain load and dump it in there. Now, because this is kind of a extruded powder, sometimes if you just dump it carelessly like that, you have to kind of shake it. Um, that is probably because this funnel goes down to 22 caliber. It's not really that big a deal, but it is something to consider. Now, move that one over, move the next one in, and we're gonna load up the next charge. So I will see you once I finish all 15 of these charges. All right, so now that we've got our 15 charges weighed out, 
visually, I always check them to make sure that we got powder in each one of them and it all looks about the same. That's kind of the last check before you load bullets. All right, so the next step we need to do is set up our seating stem to seat our bullets. Um, we're gonna use our Lee breech lock press again, primarily the press that I use. So I've got my die cranked way out. So we will see where we go with that. Okay, not even touching the bullet. So we will screw down until we touch the bullet. Okay, which I have the, uh, at the top there, the Hornady micrometer seating die adjustment on top. So let's come down just a little bit and get us a starting point, get that bullet seated. Oh, we're not anywhere close to where we want to be. Still probably not anywhere close to where we want to be. All right, and then we'll come out and take a measurement. See where we're at and then kind of adjust from there. This is just the way that I do it. So as you can see there, we are at 3.031 inches overall length. So that's way long, which we actually haven't talked about what we're gonna do for overall length yet. Hornady list at 2.90, but these hit the lands in my rifle at about 2.996. So I think we're gonna go ahead and load these a little bit long. Um, 2.950, and we're going to call it a day there. All right, so we need to go down, what, about 50 thousandths? So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. That should be fairly close. And let's see that bullet again. And let's see where that put us. Okay, so that put us at 2.98. Now, what did I say we were going to do 2.950, so 8.3, so that's what, 30 thousandths. So 10, 20, and about 30. So this should be pretty close. Now, because we picked an arbitrary overall length, it really doesn't matter, right? Let's see where that puts us. All right, so that one there puts us at 2.952. So that's going to be close enough for me. And what I typically do then is take an actual measurement cartridge base to O-Drive using the Hornady Comparator Kit, then kind of write that number down because ultimately the, the overall length itself really doesn't matter because it's going to vary a little bit via the tips of the bullets. So the number that I write down to try to match later on is going to be that number that you see there, 2.323. Now that's not going to be relevant for people on the internet looking at these loads because your comparator is going to be a little bit different than mine. But 2.950 cartridge over length or this number here for our cartridge based o -Jab. So I'm going to go ahead and seed all these bullets. All right, so once I finish loading them up, I always feed them left to right in an ammo box. That is our finished round there. Pretty nice looking round. I also check kind of intermittently as I go through to make sure that they're all coming out the same length or within a couple thousandths of the same length. So that's pretty looking bullet. It'll be interested to see how it shoots. You guys probably already know how it shoots, but um, if not, check out that video. I will uh, post a card to it here where you can see how these bullets shoot. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. Hope you're liking this new type of content that's coming out on Wednesdays. Just kind of showing you guys how I do things, not necessarily how you should do them, but this is how I typically reload. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.